I felt at the time, not I was offended, I felt like he was offending my friends. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said to him, I said, they're my friends. I mean, what, I'm, because I'm a business owner now, I'm supposed to be better than them, so I'm not supposed to hang around with them. That was my thinking. Welcome back to another episode of Amma as Master Anything. My name is Sabrina and today we have Master Sri Akashna with us. Namo Himalaya. Namo Himalaya Sabrina. And we have a beautiful question from one of our creators and he's asking, Namo Himalaya Master, obviously we have been conditioned to have a poor man mindset through school, family, upbringing, etc. So have a negative view on money. For example, feel guilty for making more money than your peer, parents, etc. What is the best way to begin to unlearn this conditioning and knowing you are worthy of abundance in all areas of life? What was the turning point for you with your belief around money growing up? That's a beautiful question. So, I like uh, many people uh, had those limiting beliefs around money as well. Um, I think there was a, one significant point I can remember when uh, in my early years of doing business I had opened a restaurant at the time and uh, I was young, I was only like 21 something like that and uh, we would close the restaurant at night and I would go out partying and then uh, next morning would rock up late to work and then we'd go through work and then at night we'll take the money that I earned and go out party. And I think uh, at that time it was somehow the universe blessed me and manifested uh, me a business partner um, who went into the venture with me the first time because I didn't have enough, enough money to do it myself. And it was an uh, uh, old uh, guy from China, he's probably about 60 something years old or something like that, uh, much older than me. And um, he came in as an investor and he was investing with me and one day when um, in the middle of the night, I remember I, <laughs> it's quite chaotic because one of the uh, I think all the bars had closed, it was like some Saturday night, and I was like, told that, you can imagine what time it would be. <laughs> and um, obviously, me being 21 and having my own restaurant, then the party doesn't need to stop. Mm. So what I ended up doing was I invited all my friends at the time to my restaurant, and uh, we continued, and, but this time it was free alcohol. <laughs> and uh, it went on to early, early morning, time and then uh, my business partner walked in in the morning oh. and he I think he was he seen that there was quite a lot of people job mm -hmm. and he said everybody needs to pack up and go because we've got a restaurant open. I think he was very patient with me actually I, I think uh, you know I would have imagined it would be a lot worse but he was quite patient and then he asked to speak to me and I knew it wasn't going to be a, you know. So we had that conversation and he said to me, he said, oh, why are you hanging around with those people? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, like, those, those people, they're like students and, uh, you know, they don't have jobs and things like that. Why are you hanging around with people like that? I felt at the time, not I was offended, I felt like he was offending my friends. Mm -hmm. And I and I said to him, I said, they're my friends. I mean, what, I'm, because I'm a business owner now, I'm supposed to be better than them, so I'm not supposed to hang around with them. That was my thinking. So anyway, I, um, what do you, then he carried on to explain, very patiently with me actually. He said that um, you're, You've entered into this, you know, you're doing something good for yourself. You are venturing out 
doing your own business, you know, and uh, wanting to achieve some sort of success, you can't be hanging around with people who are just messing around and playing every day. You know, that's not going to help you towards your journey. I totally disregarded it because I wasn't ready at the time to listen to it. So, because I just thought he was offending my people. I was like, I grew up with these people. I know these people. They're my friends. I'm not going to look down on them just because I'm a business owner now. Then probably several years through my journey, then I, I met uh, some people in personal development and things and uh, networking events. People would always say, your network is your network. And, and I started to learn that what he was saying back then. And it's not so much about um, getting rid of your friends or unfriending people. It's just more about who you spend time with, who you spend more time with. Because we can't deny that we are affected by our, our peer group and people and our surroundings. And this is exactly what the question is about. It's saying that we've been conditioned by all of that. So how to deal with it? Well, if you've been conditioned by your surrounding, then to deal with it is to recondition by your surrounding. If you change your surrounding, you change your environment, change the people around you, then you will change. So I think that is kind of like one of the key things. You've you got to find people who are either there already, which is at the stage you want to be at, or at least they are thriving towards that stage, you know? And you, you've got to spend time with them because then you know what actions you can take. Then the, the, the strategies, the knowledge starts rubbing off and you start learning that knowledge. But aside from that, because you they're in that rhythm and what they do, your mindset start, starts to shift as well because you start observing the way they think and the way they talk and the way they act. But that is all physical level. What I didn't know at the time was that metaphysically these things change as well. Mm. We understand that everything is vibrations, everything is energy. Humans are vibrational frequencies. If you were at vibrational frequency of wealth and abundance, so were the other 10 people around me. That's all the high vibes around me. That's why we call high vibe tribe. And if I'm sat in the center of it, that energy will naturally rub off. And you stop becoming it, you know? So I think, you know, just to sum it up, I feel that when it comes to wealth and abundance, I would say you need to have a mentor. The mentor will be the person who's achieve what you want to achieve. They, they have that wealth and abundance, right? They're rich, and they can give you the steps in terms of how to become rich. You need to have a coach, a coach to see your blind spots, call you out, hold you accountable, make sure you're pushing. And number three, you gotta have that environment because your tribe is your vibe, your network is your network. Yeah. Thank you so much, Master. That was very valuable. And for everyone who's wondering now, well, how can I find this high vibe tribe, this people, this community? If you join our Discord, all about abundance, manifestation, love, attraction, positivity, it's the first link in the description, and there you can join our tribe, and you will feel those high vibes of positivity, the love, the joy, and the abundance. So make sure to click on the link now, and there actually you can also ask Master a question. And there's a channel called Ask Master Anything, and Discord is just a platform where you can chat with us, where you can hang out with us. We have voice channels, everything. So make sure to join it now. And if you have enjoyed this video, if you like it, if you put a smile on your face whatsoever, make sure to give it some like. Also drop in the comments below where you're tuning in from because it's always great to know to connect with you guys even further. And of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell next to it so you get notified when we drop a new video. For now, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.